Thanks for watching Money in Main Street. For our CEO sit down this week, we've asked Bill Corbett Jr. to join us. He not only consults businesses on marketing and the media, but also on social media as the owner of his PR firm, Corbett Public Relations. Thanks for coming on to our program today. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Now, I understand you are the expert on LinkedIn consulting. For somebody who is not on LinkedIn and, you know, guilty as charged right here, I do Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, but not LinkedIn, what do I need to know? Well, first of all, the, the question is why LinkedIn? LinkedIn has 225 million users, 50 million people a month go there, and there's over 2.5 million groups. So there's a lot of activity going on there, and if you're in the B2B world, you're in the media world, you want to be on LinkedIn. You really need to be on LinkedIn to develop connections and advance uh, your career and uh, reach your goals. And B2B, business to business. Absolutely. It's a, if you're in B2B business, you have to be there. Okay, so what is the difference between putting information on there for getting a job versus mm -hmm. getting clients for your business? Well, I, I, looking for work, I consider it's the, the three C's. There's content for your profile, there's your connections, and there's creating your personal brand. An individual who's looking for a job needs to create a brand that, that other people who are looking to hire uh, resonates with. They need to make connections. I tell college students, make connections with your friends in school, connect with your professors, connect with, connect with business people, you know, build those connections because that'll become one of the most valuable assets you'll have in your life in business. And, and finally, the content of your profile. It needs to be content rich. Talk about the things you do, things you're interested in, and your successes. And in terms of developing business, you need to have a marketing plan for LinkedIn. So that's P1. Uh, you need to have a great profile that tells people why they should hire you. And you need to have P, you need to be proactive. You need to be someone who's active on LinkedIn in groups, status updates, and talks about things and posts information that is c consistent with your brand. And people will get to know you, and that's where the opportunities will come. Now, younger people are used to sharing information mm -hmm. online on a much bigger basis than, let's say, older people, yeah. um, me included. <laughs> um, what about some folks who have privacy concerns about what they put out there? Well, first of all, anything you put online, as soon as you hit that button, it's for the whole world to see. Don't let anybody think that you're not connected or that you're, you're, there's a wall there. It's out there, and potentially people are going to be able to see it. Maybe a friend of yours shares something that was on your site, whatever. So you have to think very wisely if you're a job seeker or you have, you're building your personal brand. What images? Do you want pictures of you at a party? or do you want pictures of you at a business event? You know, think about what you're posting and think about what other people potentially could be posting of you as well. And remember to keep your password your own. Don't share it with your employer. You own that. Don't let other people control any of your social media accounts. Do's and don'ts, proper etiquette of LinkedIn. The number one, don't. LinkedIn is not, and social media is not, for selling, especially hard selling. It's for relationship building and getting people to know who you are and what you're about. The number one LinkedIn do is be active. Be out there. The average LinkedIn user only uses LinkedIn 17 minutes a month. You need to use your time wisely and spend more time. You need to take a couple of hours a month. Determine, though, how much time is appropriate for you and your business. What I call is creating a time budget and a schedule. The budget is how much time you're going to spend every month and the schedule is what you're going to do during that time you've allotted. Now, let's say that you're doing a little bit of research and you're checking out some folks on LinkedIn, but you don't really want the person to know that you've checked out their profile. Well, there's security settings on LinkedIn where you can uh, set that you don't you want to remain anonymous. So if you checked out profiles, that you will not be known who it is. Um, that's really the only way to prevent people from knowing if you're if you're checking them out. On the other side, if people are checking you out, you now know that that might be a potential business lead, that might be a competitor, that might be whatever. Yet you know something that's good information that you can turn around to potentially uh, develop a business relationship with, and it's a lead. And how much time should I be spending on social networking? Um, I recommend that people spend about two to four hours a month doing this. That's not very much, a couple minutes a day. And really break that down into, you have your, say you have four hours, that's an hour a week, 15 minutes, four days a week, and define exactly what you're going to do during those times. What are you going to post? Uh, how are you going to connect with? And how are you going to build your brand online? And make sure your, uh, your profile is optimized and maximized so people find you and you have the right title. That's very important. Make sure you have a right title. I'm president of my company, but I don't list president. I say Long Island Public Relations Professional. People find me that way. Wonderful. All right. Thank you so much. Bill Corbett, Jr. Thank you.